and this is already happening, and I was just dreading what was going to happen next. Gotcha. Hey everybody, it's The Shape. Back to another video. Midwest Ghost Hunter is the name, and Midwest Ghost Hunter is his game. He seems like a nice enough guy, but is his videos, but are his videos real? Would be the question. I seen him on Nuke's uh, segment on Nuke's Top 5, and John Wolf, uh, who uh, mostly does Let's Play video games and stuff, he even made a video on it. Uh, debunking uh, the whole Nukes video. But this, the clip stood out to me, so I said, you know what, I'm going to go watch the whole video. And I'm absolutely blown away by the content therein. Now, let's take a look at this video. Midwest Ghost Hunter. <laughs> Greetings. I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter, and I'm currently deep in the Minnesota woods. Ah, Minnesota, huh? From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee. And what? Did you guys click off again? Headed down this scary trail to a haunted cemetery. Okay. Man, the narrations with these videos anymore. Is it just me or is everybody trying to be like a best value Zach Bagans from Ghost Adventures or something? That that That's how I feel about it. All them narrations. And I was in the woods at a cemetery. And what happened next? Blah, blah, blah. Match Pro Judas once eloquently put it. Consider subscribing. If you end up enjoying this video, be sure to like it. That really helps me out. And also be sure to comment your thoughts down below. I read all the comments and I love to hear from you guys. I really appreciate all your positive feedback. It is uh, overwhelming at times. They may not be as overwhelming in the comments after this video. Because, well... Obviously, I've done watched your entire video and a couple other videos you've done in the past. And they're staged, they're fake, they're scripted. Not some of it, all of it. I'll do it! Just. The night had descended, and I would hike my way down the long forested path to the Vicksburg Cemetery. Just think of all the animals that might be out here. So not only do I have to worry about spirits, I have to worry about wildlife as well. And the key word would be wildlife in that area. <coughs> now I watched your entire video obviously and every single footstep in your video you claim is a disembodied footstep. You claim it was a spirit taking them steps. You never brought into account that there's wild animals all over those woods. Not one time through the whole video. Yet you're talking about it right here. Oh, there's there's wild animals here. But from henceforward, every sound we hear is going to be a ghost. <sighs> now he put inaudible sounds at the bottom of the video for the natural sound that woods make. That That's all that is. It's the ambient sound of a forest or woods or whatever you want to call it <laughs> i don't know i thought i heard something now. further down it sounded like movement or something is anyone out here with me could you give me a sign of your presence He's never going to catch me. <laughs> My name is Ian. I'm just out here taking a stroll, a nightly stroll. And that's probably an odd time to be out here, but... I don't really hear anything. I mean, if there are footsteps there... 
It's wildlife, you know. Very well could be a multitude of many different animals that are in the, the very woods that you're at. But I, I wonder what you're gonna call them. Oh shit, dude. Okay, that's not normal. <laughs> What's not normal? Footsteps in a woods, that's not normal? Which planet you own again? Because you can't be on Earth. I now realize that the sounds I was hearing before were disembodied footsteps walking down this empty trail. Now, I know in past videos I've mentioned overlaid sounds, right? So what I'm going to do is, check this out. In order to make a sound sound natural, if you're going to fake a sound for a ghost video, like footsteps for instance, right? It's better to do it on location. And how would you do it, right? Uh, if I hear footsteps, then I need footsteps. I can't use just your regular footstep sound effects because people would know I need something that sounds natural. Like this. You hear those footsteps? They're walking right in front of me. It's a sound overlay. Yeah, I'm definitely not alone out here. And if there's a person out there and they don't have a light, and they're just walking around in the darkness like that. Well, I guess we're going with your narrative. It can't be an animal, so it's a person. A person walking around the woods at night by themselves? Oh, with the lights off? Hmm. Well, you're doing it. Right? Dude, will you please hold that camera still, man? You're going, you're giving me headaches. I ain't kidding that camera. Oh, 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 oh. Hold it steady. You've done this before. Okay. I'm coming towards you, whoever you are. The footsteps were now much closer and more defined. This is Spielberg levels of camera operating. When I listen to those footsteps, yes, they are footsteps. Those are. And they're natural to where he's at. But I've done showed you how you overlay the sound. All you gotta do, put the camera on a tripod while he's there on location. Record himself walking and then add it in post later. It's easy. Well, how'd he react to it? Huh? If he didn't hear nothing, how'd he react to it? It's easy. He reacts without hearing anything and then goes back and adds the sound. Wow, it's genius. It's almost, how do, how do actors act on a green screen when Thanos ain't standing in front of them? It's acting, imagination. Could you show yourself? Well, if they do show themselves, we're not gonna be able to see it because uh, your camera operating sucks bad. Nobody can see anything at all. You're shaking the camera. You're, you're giving all your viewers migraines and headaches. For God's sakes, will you please hire a cameraman? I mean, come on. Now, as this brave, brave man trudges on through the forest, the footsteps finally cease. So brave. I'm not, no, 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 I'm not being sarcastic. There'll be a secret word in this video. Thought I forgot, didn't you? Man, it seems like whoever's behind those footsteps is completely gone. <sighs> I finally made it to the cemetery. And he finally made it to the cemetery in the woods. Ooh. 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 Is there anybody in this cemetery? Oh, there's definitely people in that cemetery that you can bet on. Oh my God, look at that. That's a tombstone. You're right. 
Look ye there, people, a tombstone. That's amazing. I mean, you would have never thought a tombstone would be in a graveyard. <gasps> wow. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Tombstone in a graveyard. I never would have thought those two go together. <laughs> ah, I quit, guys. I can't do it. I quit already. I'm sorry. I, just can't. I can't do it. I can't. See ya. Bye. Toodaloo. Entering the cemetery. All right, I'm coming over to visit. I hope you don't mind. I mean, if a ghost did mind people being there, does it ever stop these YouTubers? No, 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 no. They're gonna come, they're gonna bother them, they're gonna, hey, uh, smile for the camera, uh, hey, come over here, uh, mess with that device. That device flashes when you touch it. Go ahead and touch it. Go touch it now. Go ahead, we, we need to know you're here. Why? Maybe they wanna be left alone. Maybe they don't want people bothering them. You ever thought about that? Oh, what? You wouldn't get no views? Oh, well, you'd be right. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. What happened? Is it vandalized? So he catches a ghostly whisper. He asks, he asked the ghost spirit about the vandalization of the tombstone. And they respond saying, yeah. Now I know John Wolf said that he didn't hear anything. But there's definitely a whisper there. But it's just an overlay. Shay, I'm right here beside Overlay. I'm gonna get you shape. Listen closely. I'm coming for you, shapey boo. You hear that? At this moment a woman's whisper intelligently responds to my question. When you enhance the audio, you clearly hear a whisper and it is saying yeah. So I'm not arguing with that part of what he's saying, but they're so easily faked. Now, I guess the question is, do you believe this guy that you're watching? That's the question. Would he be someone to fake something for views? Hmm? Think about it. No, he wouldn't. Just how well do you know this person? I just heard a female whisper on here. All right, I've got a K2 meter in my hand. This measures electromagnetic fields. I'm gonna see if I can communicate with you. In my left hand, I have a green light. It won't harm you in any way. And there's another thing that I've always wanted to address, and I never have. He's, he's holding this device out saying, you can touch it, it won't hurt you. And let me, you know, let me know you're there. But how do we know these devices don't electrocute the spirits? We don't know that. We don't know that it doesn't hurt them. Think about that. What if they touch and it electrocutes them? Can you prove otherwise that it doesn't? All it will simply do is detect your presence. Well, if that's all it does, I trust you. <laughs> I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. But that's okay. It's worth it. If I could just hear your voice one more time. Do once again. Whoa, you just drained my battery too. Yeah, sure. Just blame the ghost for everything. Oh, you drained my battery. It was all your fault. You come to where they're at, and then you start blaming them because you forgot to charge your battery. The woman's whisper returns once more and sounds like it is saying, Now, there's so many audio whisper things, even on YouTube, uh, everywhere on Google, whispers of any kind you want to hear, hundreds of thousands of them. Can I necessarily say that this exact whisper come from one of them? It probably did, but if, it, if you were a ghost hunter and you didn't want to get caught using one of those audio type falls, you could always get your girlfriend or your wife or a friend or whatever that's female and get her to just put her voice in there. It's kind of that simple.
Upon further research, I found that this grave actually belongs to a woman named Vesta Black Davis. She is buried here by herself with no family members. A truly sad revelation. What makes that a sad revelation that somebody's buried by themselves away from everybody? In fact, I don't know that it would bother them at all. The fact of the matter is maybe, and this ain't no joke, maybe uh, she didn't want neighbors. I don't think I do, actually. Hmm. I think it would be more peaceful, uh, you know, until you guys come along. Now, what's really interesting to me about this is that this camera, it just died. And this is a fresh battery, which is further evidence that spirits really do drain these batteries for energy. So the battery dying is further proof that ghosts are around you, right? Has nothing to do with batteries do that. In different temperatures, the battery could be defected. You could have forgotten to charge it. You know, there's just a multitude of things. But no, it's spirits automatically. Automatically, it's a spirit. That's how we know that we forgot to charge it. For energy. Boy, he had a hard time even saying that one, didn't he? <laughs> energy. For energy. 12 a.m. I would really like to get to know you. Now, as he stumbles up this trail in the dark, he catches the Holy Grail of spirit activity, a full-bodied apparition. Yes, you heard me right. But he doesn't just do it this time. Let me, people know when they're doing paranormal investigations how hard it is to catch any evidence. He's already caught multiple EVPs, multiple footsteps, and he catches multiple full-bodied apparitions, multiple orbs in this one video. Mind you. But, let's take a look. Oh, it is so scary out here. You have no idea how freaky it is. My infrared camcorder just captured this ethereal form. Could this be the same spirit that has been walking up and down this trail? Two things here. My first thing would be, boy, you're so lucky that you had that that camera just sitting there aimed up that very trail that you're walking there. And you're even luckier that it came right across the frame. Now, one could argue that that is mist or fog, and you couldn't argue otherwise. But you said it was, you know, you said it was a uh, ethereal form, so we'll just go with that. Okay, well, here is the supposed glowing grave. A glowing tombstone. What? <laughs> I mean, what are the odds that you would catch that? <laughs> I mean, no, he does. He catches that. He's talking about it, and then he catches it. Wow, how lucky. If there's anyone that haunts this grave site, could you show yourself somehow? I heard that this grave glows in the dark. Could you show me this phenomena? I'll shut off my light. <gasps> Whoa! Wow, did you catch it? Literally a light source. No, it's not an orb. That wasn't a bug. I can tell you that by looking at it. But I can't. What if, I'm just saying, what if you got a camera in this hand and a pin light in this hand and you make a little pin light go across it? Ah! Now, yeah, that's what happened. But hey, he caught the glow. A glowing spirit orb suddenly floats in front of the old tombstone without explanation. You know, after looking at that, that's not a pin light. That's a reflection as if, have you ever took a piece of glass, a mirror, and held it up to the sun and shined, you know, that little spot of light that's all he's doing. Now, you, you could say, well, where's the light source? How would he, what light source would he use? He's got them all out. Well, there is one light that's in the corner that's lighting the whole cemetery. It's out of frame. And I think that's what he's using to reflect that light across the tombstone. Could these be the phantom glows that have been reported over the years? Ah! 
Oh, whoa, whoa. Now, I couldn't see the fence moving when it was rattling. You can hear it, but I didn't see it. And the reason I bring that up is, how do we know he's not taking his leg and just kicking the fence? Because the fence is connected all the way around. How do we know he's not just moving it with his leg? Now, before you say, well, that other camera, that other camera is over him and the whole graveyard. Yes, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the footage he's showing you on the other camera is timed up with the footage of it moving right there at that moment in time. You see what I'm saying? If that was you and you just rattled this fence, could you do it again? Whoa, holy moly. Dude, you are hitting the fence yourself. We can't see your body. What's your name? Here, I could try to read your grave. What does that say? Nanny? Is your name Nanny? <gasps> Whoa, okay. I take that as a yes. Yes, I'm sure you being this close to the fence has nothing to do with it rattling whatsoever. Is there anybody else that's buried here? <gasps> Whoa, I just heard your voice. Dude, oh my God, I just heard you again. Wow, the luckiest ghost hunter on earth. He's caught multiple footsteps. He's caught a ethereal being. He has uh, caught a grave glowing twice of fence rattling twice. Wow, oh, and not to mention now he's catching a little girl's spirit voice multiple times. Let that sink in. I just received an intelligent response from what sounds like a ghostly little girl and now realize that there actually may be two spirits haunting this gravesite. Nanny Bickle, who passed away at the age of five. I'm sorry, say what? Nanny Bickle, who passed away at the age of five. Passed away at the age of five. This shows that Nancy would have been 13 going on 14, not five years old. You got that way wrong. And Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. I'm sorry, say what? And Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. Age seven? Where are you coming up with these numbers? No, she was... Five going on six years old. You're a little off there. When you stage all your paranormal, you kind of stage all the history of it. I mean, he's showing you the birth date and the unalive of both of these people, uh, these spirits, these girls. And he can't even get the age even close to being right. I mean, not even. <laughs> it's unbelievable he's literally showing you one thing and saying something completely different and most people wouldn't even catch it anyways john wolf i see you though dude this is insane i'm getting so much awesome activity over here whoa he's like a kid in the candy store i got some awesome activity over here i'm so happy what I don't understand is the footsteps scared him. Scared him, I mean scared him, scared him. Yet something is whispering in his ear and into his camera. He is seeing full-bodied apparitions, fences moving, and that's not scaring, scaring him at all. I just don't get it. What, what's so scary about the footsteps? Would you like your picture taken? Pose for the photo. Could you smile? All right, I'm gonna count to three, okay? And I want you to pose for this photo. One, two, three. If you look at this photo closely, there appears to be two misty little girls. Staring into the camera from the gravesite. They both appear to be in their adolescence, have long hair and dark beady eyes. Nope, these are vintage 2D stock photos that you put behind the fence. How do I know you know how to do that? Because you literally did it in your thumbnail. 
So logically, I went on Google, found this old photo here, and it took me four minutes to put this face behind that fence. Wow, what an amazing ghost hunter. The evidence you got, most ghost hunters won't get in a lifetime. And I'm not kidding on that. Now, John Wolf, when I watched his take on this particular part here, he thought the image of the two little girls that's behind the fence, he couldn't see it at first. He thought it was just whatever. But no, there's two girls there. He thought that they were, the person in Photoshop was just lightening sections in between the fence to give you like a pareidolia image of a face, you know, two faces. And, you know, like an airbrush to lighten just certain spots of the ground behind that fence to make it look like somebody's staring through it. But I, I looked at it and I was like, no, it's too good. It's too good. And this guy, I don't think he's that gifted. No offense. Uh, but what I think he did, he took a 2D image, just a picture, some of them old pictures that they took back in the old days of kids and just black and white ones or the other color like vintage look to them. And the reason I believe that is, look at this thumbnail. This is the thumbnail on the video of our guy, this video. And look, he put two girls behind the fence. Now, that thumbnail says a lot. It shows he knows what he's doing. You see what I'm saying? So I decided to do it myself. And I put me a face behind the fence. You can zoom in all you want. It's that good. But let's take a look. And comment below what you guys think. Did you appear as a light again, like you did before? That was very pretty. Whoa, oh my God. Dude, she just touched my shoulder. Oh, one of the ghosts uh, of the children touched his shoulder. I didn't see anything. Now, I do want to show you because he mentions this later on through the video. I want, you to sh I want to show you in real time when I brought the image. He said that uh, this orb was what was the spirit coming up behind him and touching him. But in real time, I want you to see how long it takes him to react once you see <clears throat> this bug go behind him. It moves by and look how long it takes him to react. Oh, now you finally react. Oh my God. She like flicked me on the shoulder. Now, even if the bug, orb, dust, particle, glass, particle, metal, particle had nothing to do with touching his back, maybe it was just a coincidence. There are plants sticking out through the holes in the fence. Take a look. Yes, I'm sure these leaves that are sticking through the fence couldn't have accidentally poked him in the back and he thought it was a ghost finger, right? Although there's no way to prove that I was touched by a spirit, I did manage to capture this orb just before it happens. Yet when he brings it up, he talks like it literally just went behind his back and he acted right instantaneously pretty much. When I just showed you, that was a bit of a time delay. It is officially dawn, the sun is rising. And you can hear all the birds. It's time for me to get some sleep. God, it's going to be another super, which I do enjoy. Now, comment below what your guys' thoughts are. But yeah, I really wanted to do a video on this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you. I love you. And thank you for all you guys do. And I'll see you in the next video. Y'all come back now, you hear? I'll see you in the comments.